My next patron question is from Benjamin, who wants to know if I think we'll get a new Underdog cartoon or movie anytime soon. So Underdog is one of those cartoon characters that is somewhat well known, but I don't think has been all that popular for a while. His presence in modern pop culture has definitely lessened compared to when the original television series aired in the 1960s. From my personal experience, Underdog is something I know of, but I've never really delved into. And while I'm sure it aired somewhere when I was a child, I don't think I ever caught it on television like I did with reruns of Hanna-Barbera cartoons or Rocky and Bullwinkle. It's just one of those nostalgic animated shows that completely passed me by. The other shows, produced by Total Television, like Tennessee Tuxedo and The Beagles, I've even less familiarity with. But I'm sure Underdog has its fans who look back fondly on the character and his superheroic adventures. The rights to Underdog and the other Total Television creations have apparently bounced through a lot of companies over the years. At one point, the rights were sold to Broadway Video, Lauren Michaels' company. Yes, the Lauren Michaels of Saturday Night Live. Broadway Video wanted to get into the family video market. But the plan did not last very long as Michaels very quickly sold Underdog and his other family assets to Golden Books. A deal was then made with Sony Wonder to release the shows on VHS and then later DVD. In 2001, Golden Books entertainment assets were acquired by Classic Media, which was building up its library at the time. The biggest test for whether Underdog could appeal to a modern audience was when Disney released a live-action movie in 2007. This was during a time when live-action adaptations of cartoons were still common, and also when Disney would license certain properties for possible movies instead of outright buying them. The movie was given a major summer release date, and they had confidence it could launch a new franchise for them. The film made $65 million to the box office, which was below Disney's expectations. So a few years later, they decided to just buy Marvel and have them produce superhero movies for the studio. In 2012, Classic Media was bought by DreamWorks Animation, but they did not really do anything with the character. However, Eleanor and Olivia Caballos recently revealed on Twitter that in 2015, when they were working as concept artists at DreamWorks, they put together a pitch for an underdog series after looking through the Classic Media library and seeing what they owned. The show was not picked up, but it's certainly an interesting what it to think about, and would have probably been a good fit for the shows DWA was producing for Netflix at the time. In 2016, DreamWorks Animation was acquired by NBC Universal, putting Underdog under their ownership. Have they done anything with the property since then? Well, the comic book company American Mythology got a license to print some Underdog comics in 2017, producing quite a few over the years. But that's pretty much it. Despite the massive success of superhero movies over the last decade, it just does not appear to be a top priority for DWA and Universal. It's possible the disappointment surrounding the Underdog movie has played a role in this, but that did not exactly stop DreamWorks from doing new things with Rocky and Bullwinkle. The movie has also been somewhat forgotten since its release. One reason I don't think we'll see them doing anything new with the character anytime soon is they already have a different Heroic Dog production in the works, as next year we'll see the release of an animated movie based on Dave Pilkey's Dogman. That one's a police dog instead of a superhero dog, but the higher-ups still might feel it's the same basic concept and that there's no need to do something with Underdog now. With that said, never say never. Some producer or executive nostalgic for the character might decide, hey, maybe we should do something with him. That was how the movie came to be, as the film's producer, Jay Polstein, felt the character had potential as a live-action film. So he pitched the idea to Spyglass, which had to deal with Disney at the time, and then they worked something out with classic media for the film rights. Or director or writer with a fondness for Underdog might choose to pitch an idea to Universal and DreamWorks, and it impresses them so much they decide to produce a new show. While I have no way of knowing when Underdog might see a return to screens, studios can sometimes surprise with what properties are revived. The Fall Guy was a show primarily only known by people who saw it during the 80s or caught the rare rerun, and most of the episodes are incredibly hard to find these days on streaming or DVD. And yet, Universal Pictures still thought there was a potential audience for a movie based on that show, and Greenland won. Ten years from now, or maybe even sooner, the same could happen with Underdog. Thank you for your question, Benjamin.